Um, so the first point of business is to discuss a recent um, trouble in our relationship is that Peter has found another source of affection and love um, and has decided to bring it with him today. I have been making a scale <laughs> model of our narrow boat. It is not finished yet, just an FYI, mm. but we are going to map out and make little kitchen counters and everything inside. Mm. Um, don't know if you want to see that detail here. But, very excited, also waterproof, also exactly to scale, I measured <laughs> everything on the boat. Um, so, that's pretty fun, we have had multiple arguments about this boat. It just gives it a lot of attention, mm. and time, mm. and affection. Mm -hmm. Reason number one is... My sister had a dream a couple of years ago that me and Peter moved onto a boat. So we took it as a literal dream from the Lord, and we bought a boat. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we hadn't really thought about it before no. then, but your sister had a dream, we thought, mm. sounds fun. Yeah, Here we'll we take are. it, Lord. Number two, simplicity. So I love collecting things, mm -hmm. if I'm really honest. Mm -hmm. um, it took us two car loads to get home from Nottingham to here in the southwest. Um, so it really forces you to streamline your life and to find things that are beautiful and that have purpose um and also what's important for you as well in terms of like is it important for you to live somewhere where you know every day is going to be dependable like you're not gonna have to change your plans based on whether it was you have to in a canal boat mm -hmm. yeah and um, another thing you probably know about canal boats is they basically only really go at tops four miles an hour at least ours does some some of them do go, that's actually slower than four miles an hour. Like yeah, it's but for pace. the scale. <laughs> you scaled down the yeah. speed as well, have you? <laughs> okay. So it's actually quite difficult to do things fast and mm. to live in a hurried way. Yeah. Um, because everything you do has to be slow, slow. like the boat. Um, We're not going anywhere no. fast. And I think a lot of, like, how culture is today, life moves very fast, people are very busy, they feel their time up and they're not actually happy with the way they feel at their time. Um, and we want to live slowly, we want mm -hmm. to live sustainably mm -hmm. for us and our souls and like the people around us. Um, and so it's a real statement for us about living slowly and it forces us to live slowly. Which is something um, we're not naturally good at. Two, community based living. So canal boat kind of like community is like one of the tightest communities mm -hmm. in the UK. We've apparently. been speaking to like <laughs> lots of people, spoken about it, they've been like, oh, the community is amazing, everyone chats to each other. And we're really excited about that. We love community living, mm. we love doing shared life with people. Um, we're excited to have people over onto our boat and do meals and chat and just be part of a community. Four, sustainability. We would love to live as sustainably and in tune with the earth as much as possible. Um, and reduce our emissions and carbon footprint and stuff like that and so actually living on a canal boat is one of the ways that we can do that. Yeah. Um, we'll be having all of our electricity off the solar panel, we're hopefully having composting toilet, stuff like that and because it's such a small space you use a lot less energy. Generally. And it does take, it takes diesel doesn't it? Yeah. But like you have a tank and it lasts how long? Like a, ages and compared like to the, like, the emissions compared mm -hmm. to a house is a whole lot lower, so it's really exciting. And I'm sure as we go on, we'll find more and more ways to do that well. Um, number five is transformation. Mm -hmm. Basically, our boat is super ugly mm -hmm. right now. She She's currently just having some work done um, on her outside, but she needs a lot done on the inside as well. Mm. She is an ugly duckling and will be made beautiful. Into a swan. Yes. Also, just a great metaphor for like what we feel God has called us to do in our lives. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. In the healing, here we go, you know? Yeah, we both love like transformation projects. We yeah. love transformation TV shows. We love like <laughs> seeing something broken and <laughs> ugly and yeah, and being made into something beautiful and livable and redemptive and home, you know? And so it's a really, 
just a visual of something we're really passionate about in life. And it's a project we can do together. Yeah. Oh. So this is us going along and then BAM! Um, we're small people. Mm hmm We are. We are both under five foot. Six? Five, no, seven? Five, five, under five seven. <laughs> so height. <laughs> is not an issue. Nope. Whereas lots of people really would struggle in yeah. a no but whereas we can have our bed that way round because, because we we are the right height for it. Yeah. So and we won't makes, bump our heads, like it makes sense. We it brought makes some a lot tall of friends onto our canal boat once. Yeah. They just, They had to crouch down. They had to crouch yeah. down but we hadn't even realised that was a thing. So it works for us perfectly. What number is this? I no idea. Can we can put it up. okay. Um you prefer the term adventure centered. Mm, yeah. I think it's slightly commitment phobic, mm -hmm. which is an Enneagram 7 thing for you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you know the Enneagram, you know what we're talking about. But <laughs> houses, right? <laughs> don't know if you know this, but they're like in one place and you just have to like stay there. Yeah. With boats. And you have a mortgage. And you have a, or like just, a renting agreement. It feels quite like a lot, you know? <laughs> It feels quite adult. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. <laughs> um, but maybe we'll get a house when we have kids. Maybe yeah, not. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> Who knows? When do you become um, an adult? Yeah, but boats, like we can literally move it anywhere. We Anytime. can move it to London, up to the Lake District, all over the UK. Like we have flexibility to do that. And that's exciting for me, not being trapped or stuck in one place and having the freedom just to like take our house off into the country for a weekend. Like like a you snail. Know? Like a like a snail. We're snails. Oh my gosh, I get it. A snail. <laughs> we are countryside people. Mm -hmm. We would love to be able to live in a city. Uh, we love Birmingham because we have lots of people we love there and there's jobs and stuff there and it's quite a like, great place to be. Yeah. But also the idea of living in a city for very long just doesn't sound fun to no. us. But... I need to be really earthed. You yeah. Know, with trees. Mm -hmm. Like, and actually the canals are a little oasis, really, of countryside in cities. And so I, like, cycled along the canal to uni every day, and it was just so peaceful and felt really countryside -y. Sometimes um, I went for runs along the canal, that's my yeah. little, little canal <laughs> But basically, it's a really great way that we can feel like we're in the countryside when we're actually in the city. Um, and kind of get the be both, bleh, bleh, best bleh, of both bleh. deals. That's not the phrase. <laughs> what is it? Best of both worlds. Oh. Like Hannah Montana. Best of both worlds. Got the best, best of, of both, both worlds. worlds. Okay. It's cheaper. It is probably the cheapest way that we can live in the city. Um, because house prices, rent prices are very expensive. Freaking expensive. Um, but boat rent prices, like mooring prices, are a whole lot cheaper. So obviously there's like cruising fees and a little bit that you pay to the canals and river trust just for your license um but the kind of residential mooring fees like the most expensive ones are like two grand in very central birmingham for a year which is like super cheap for two of us mm. compared to rent prices mm -hmm. um so we'll be saving that dollar yeah. it sets us up <laughs> for our life vision mm -hmm. like we wanted to start the way we want our lives together to look mm -hmm. Um, and so we were like, we don't want to kind of settle into something that was comfortable, but wasn't going to push us in the way that we feel like God wanting us to go. So mm -hmm. we feel like we want to be radically obedient, to be, um, you know, interruptible by the Holy Spirit. And they're like that's why we're living on a boat because we were like no we can interrupt our plans to live on a boat and we you know we're not going to live just because it's comfortable mm -hmm. um yeah yeah and it just really sets out from the beginning of our marriage um like the way we want to we are getting married 9th of july hopefully <laughs> come um don't you're not allowed <laughs> yeah no sorry but if we could you would <laughs> you won't be able to get <laughs> And we're now going to show you like a little clip of me going around our boat and showing you things. Oh yeah. But with background music because I'm not like 
speaking life over our boat very well. Yeah. So we're gonna put some nice gentle music over it that yes. so you can't hear what I'm saying. Yeah, so this is a before. We are hopefully gonna start work on the inside soon. We've not been able to at the moment, hence me working on this bad boy instead. Before video, bam. This is our boat. This is our boat. Look at it. This is a 5% model. Um, it hasn't painted, our boat isn't currently white. And we are going to put all the kitchen and stuff inside. We've been playing around with the different layouts. It's been very exciting. Um, but yeah, and it's waterproof, so I'm gonna take it down the river maybe when it's done, which is quite fun. Oh, Daisy, you're talking about the bloody boat again. <laughs> you're yeah. obsessed. I just thought I wouldn't know.